hello my loves welcome back to my channel pardon the hideous face i actually wanted to come to you guys with a review or kind of like a first impressions on the new maybelline foundation and this one is the maybelline superstay better skin skin transforming foundation i also have the concealer here and it's in the shade light and it is brand new at least to me i went to walmart a few weeks ago and came across these bad boys and decided to give them a try so let's get ready for the close-up oh and i have a little scary dog right there there's blue um he's a little terrified because it is the fourth of july weekend you hiding baba want to say hi nope he's not interested no not at all so he's just gonna be lurking in the corner he's pretty good at it anyway here comes the scary part i'm gonna zoom in and scare y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and break the seal and i haven't used it yet i did get the shade what shade is this 30 warm nude and it looks well actually on my viewfinder or on my screen here it looks paler than me or yellow i don't know it does come off a little bit yellow in person it looks like a tan yellow so let's hope this works so per usual how i test out my foundations i like to apply one side with a beauty blender or sponge and the other side with one of my kabuki brushes so i've already primed and moisturized using my holy grail emberlease lock cream concentrate this is my go-to um i also like my Too faced hangover rx and those are really the only two products i use on my face I took about two and a half pumps of it don't mind i was swatching something and i'm gonna take my sigma 3d hd kabuki brush and take that and start stippling that on i actually think this is a good color match Ooh, this looks like i don't need much i think i put too much really nice off the back i think it blends really well i feel like it's evened out my skin tone really well i'm gonna try to attack this demon spawn here and here and around my nose and then just take whatever else is left on the brush and blend it down my neck and then just stipple it oh okay i do feel that with my kabuki brush it gave me wonderful coverage just even me out a lot more than on this side so i'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender and it is wet it's actually freshly washed so I'm going to go ahead and stipple this in. I actually like the way it applied with the brush. I like how anything applies with the Beauty Blender for the most part. This is an alright consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin, but it does get absorbed into my sponge. I love the way it blends with both the Beauty Blender and the brush. I must say I like it both ways. I like it both ways. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you guys right off the back, I, I love the way this foundation feels like. I don't know why it looks pale. I just don't understand how on my viewfinder it looks so pale. I hope it does not look pale to you guys when you're viewing this, but it looks like a perfect match. It's like dry on my skin. It's a little tacky around here because this is where I applied a little bit more, but it feels like a nice satin. I wouldn't say it's matte. Now this foundation says that it's skin transforming and it has titanium dioxide sunscreen with SPF 15. So expect some flashback. This is not meant for photography at all because you will get flashback for the most part. So on the packaging and on the display, it stated that it's our first foundation for all day color wear with Actyl C, which is known for its antioxidant benefits. So I love products with skincare properties okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use the concealer and i got this shade light but it looks like it won't be too bright for me let's hope not so it has a doe foot applicator Ooh, i like the color match it's not too light it's light but it's not too light All right, and I'm going to take my beauty blender, like I always do, and just blend this in. Oh my god. I love how this blends. I love how it just... It doesn't look cakey like normally when I apply any type of concealer. I 
no matter how thin or thick the consistency it always starts looking cakey like almost instantaneously um right on the center of my forehead all right let's see this is the moment of truth oh wow i wonder if this is buildable i do like the coverage it gives me i don't look for this super uber highlighted look because i have really sallow eyes so i want to see if this is buildable actually i'm gonna place this on the lid as well because i do use concealers as um primers for the eyes just to neutralize it all right Okay, it is buildable. That's a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and set everything with my Maybelline Dream Wonder powder. And I'm going to be using the shade 25 Buff Beige. And I use it as well for under the eyes. It's, it suits me just fine. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques 100 brush. Okay, love. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. And I will get back to you guys with my first impressions of this foundation and concealer. Okay, my love, so I've completed my makeup. If you're interested in how I achieved this look, I will be doing a tutorial on this look. So just stay tuned for that. So if you're just coming across to this channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe and thumbs up. So that way you can see more of my ridiculousness. But anyway, I really am loving this look. But anyway, I've been wearing this foundation for three hours now no wait correction i totally forgot to make an update so i've been wearing this foundation now for four hours it is 12 34 a.m and yes i do things at night because that's how i roll and i must say i am absolutely loving this foundation i normally know right off the back if it's a foundation for me um because i have dry skin it tends to settle into fine lines or you know it'll crack on me or if i break a sweat it'll separate like those are things that i look for in a foundation um within the first few hours of me trying it out so so far i'm loving it it still looks like i just applied it like five minutes ago so i'm gonna be wearing these two for the rest of the week just to kind of get my overall impressions on it and if it's a product that i don't really care for of course i will update you guys but so far so good i think that it applied beautifully with both my beauty blender and my 3d hd kabuki brush which works just as good as in any kabuki brush that I have from Sigma. Now the concealer I applied with the beauty blender and I didn't wet it additionally or anything like that. I just blended it in and it is buildable as you can see in the demo that I added some more to see if it was buildable because I wanted a little bit more coverage but I must say I'm really really liking the way it blended into the skin. It started drying out but it wasn't like tacky or you know picked itself up while I was trying to blend it. Overall, this is probably going to be a favorite of mine, I hope. Okay, so I paid $10 for it at Walmart. It was like $9.98, so I think it's a good price point. And the concealer, I think, was $7.99. It was either $7 or $8, which is just right around the price point of any other Maybelline concealer that I've purchased. Um, I will show you guys my favorite Maybelline concealers. So the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer has... 0.23 fluid ounces this has 0.25 and it is about the same price range i like this way better than i like this and the instant age rewind from maybelline is another one of my favorites and this has six milliliters and this has 7.5 milliliters so this carries a lot more product and i must say i kind of am loving both of these this one just felt just right like it wasn't too thick too thin and it was just i don't know it blended beautifully and it set i don't know i'm loving it so far so anyway guys i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye